Hi there, my name is Autumn. You may have heard about me or the business Ellsworth Candle and Bowling or Demandas through articles such as NPR. My goal here is to spread the word about candle pin bowling and to make this business back in its tip top shape. It's going to take a lot of effort and a lot of time, but I see a lot of potential in the place and I'd love to, if you guys would help me share and spread the word for it. Candle pin bowling is unfortunately a dying sport. Um, so my goal is, like I said, to make this business, you know, back to where it needs to be. And then hopefully in the future to be able to actually franchise and bring candle pin bowling outside of New England as it is just a New England and Canadian sport right now. So that is my goal and I'm pretty much trying to share stories, you know, my day to day, you know, adventures and what I do. Um, I also am trying to um, make people uh, know that I am my only employee and why I operate the way I do. For example, um, I am reservation only. And uh, this is because it is just me. So I'm front desk, I'm lane mechanic, um, you know, I'm everything. This is, this is it right here. And so it's really hard, especially working with um, machines from 1949 of never knowing on a day-to-day -day basis on how many lanes I'm going to have running that day. So I book on average in the summertime about a day in advance. If it's super sunny out, you know, it's less than that. If it's raining outside, people actually look ahead on the radar and book so far in advance for it. it's crazy. So summer is, is technically the slow season, uh, however I am still booking fast. Winter time um, is so completely different. I book um, almost three days in advance. Um, usually the weekend books by Thursday. It's insane in here. I can almost never get in walk-ins. During the summertime, as long as I have a lane open, I always tell people that I'm never going to turn away business if I have one open because I'm trying to make as much money as I can to be able to reach those goals and dreams of mine. Um, but it is hard as, as most people come in, they see, you know, I have 12 lanes, but I've never had all 12 running before. So it's, it's extremely hard and unfortunate that people don't understand when they first walk in and they go, oh, you've got so many lanes open. And so um, some people will stay and listen to my explanation of like how things are operated here. Like, oh, those lanes are actually down right now, you know, things like that. Some people, they just turn away and leave. They're upset, they think I'm turning them away, that I have those lanes available and won't let them on them. So um, this is kind of me just letting you guys know the behind the scenes of what goes on and why, you know, I operate the way I do. Um, and it's also to spread the word of Candlepin Bowling and to hopefully get it out there. And uh, maybe those from out of state, you know, going to travel into Maine that they'll stop by and check out the place. Um, but I would really appreciate if you guys definitely spread the word about it. And I will share stories. Um, I'll start trying to do some vlogging um, to try to tell like, you know, little things here and there of my my day to day adventures. So I really appreciate you guys watching this and to any of those who follow along my adventure. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible with a video, you know, things like that to share what's going on here. Um, so I really do appreciate it and thank you guys very much.